Hey guys, what's up? I'm so excited to share this with everyone because as of recently, obviously we all have to stay at home. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so to demonstrate, I have my mini volleyballs and I have 20 things that you can do indoors, at home, by yourself. Number one is passing in place. So literally, take your ball, and I'm using a mini one just because I have my ball is downstairs and I don't really feel like going to get it, but literally like, pass to yourself in place. You can move around, you can do whatever you want, but that will really get your ball control up and so you don't lose touch on the ball because I know that happens to me if I don't touch a ball for a while then once I get back in the gym I'm like shank shank two passing with the right arm so you want to take your right arm just like how you would have in your platform take your right arm and try to count them you can get in a row three left see my left is really hard for me because that's not my dominant arm but you want to count how many you can get in a row or it's passing but alternating in place. So, right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. Next, number five is setting in place. Literally, just what it looks like. Set in place, you can walk forward with it, you can walk backwards with it, to the side, to the left. Literally, there's so many things you can do inside by yourself. So that's a really good one, especially if you're a setter, but I recommend any setting drills for literally everyone, because every position needs to know how to set just in case, because you never know. Okay, next is setting low. So you want to keep the ball low and close to your contact. Number seven, you're going to set high. So high, and I don't mean like hit the ceiling high, literally just higher than you were doing. So like this. To also, it's, I feel like it's a good thing to count while um, doing your activity because it gets your cardio up a little bit better and you can breathe better when you're, I don't know, it's a thing, Google it. <laughs> Number eight is passing low, passing high. So you're gonna start with a low pass and then a high pass. Low pass, high pass. Nine is passing high, setting high. So you're gonna pass the high ball, you're gonna set the high ball. Number 10 is gonna pass, you're gonna pass low and then you're gonna set high. So pass low, high. And that really makes you like get under the ball and use your legs so you can push it high. And just as I just said, you're gonna do the opposite of passing low and high. So you're gonna pass a high ball and then a low ball. Okay, 13's a little more tricky. I'm really not gonna demo this for you, but you're gonna wanna lay down flat on your back and just set to yourself like this. Just above, right above your face. Okay, 14 is kind of more of an advanced drill, I guess you could say, if you have more ball control. So 14 is like you're going to self-toss and you're going to practice using two hands. So that's really hard to do. Like, I have to show you. Like, if a ball is coming fast-paced at your face, but you're a little too slow to get your hands up there to set the ball, and it's coming at your chest so you can't put your platform up there, you can protect yourself slash, this is like an emergency move, basically. Go like this and pop the ball right up. 15 is knuckling the ball. Um, I also, this is also like an emergency move to me because I never really want to attack a ball like with my knuckles. I rather, all you know, open hand, big hand, and snap. But if you are in a pickle and you need to get the ball over, I suggest just practicing hitting the ball on your knuckles and it won't hurt as long as you're doing it the correct way. So I do it left, right, oh. Just keep it going if you can. 16 is walk around in a circle and set to yourself. Now this is really good because it makes you it makes you keep track of the ball. So what? And it'll get you a little dizzy, but that's good so it can improve your location. 17 is gonna be walking backwards and passing. So like this. Okay. And then you can also walk backwards and set. 18 drop your ball okay so this is like em emulating like a pancake if you will which is also an emergency move in my opinion i don't do it but so you, you can literally just place your hand out you know and drop the ball now you'd be on the ground for that i'm also not going to get down on the ground yet so literally just drop it on your hand and practice your pancake all right 19 is t you're going to self toss to yourself but you're going to toss a little off so you can have to work on your platform angle and have like a, an imaginary setter or an imaginary target and you want to work on your angles so i'm going to toss myself over here angle toss myself over here angle if you are catching my drift <laughs> and also you don't have to if you don't have a lot of control you don't have to pass to yourself and catch to work on your angle in case you hit something of value so you can literally work on your angle catch work on your angle catch 
last one you self toss once again but practice your emergency moves that you've done before so I mean toss myself a little bit off if you can't get your full platform there you have to reach out stick out an arm I'm gonna go like this but if you don't have a lot of control don't do that I would just catch it so you can go like this and that will really help you with your extensions and all that stuff all right guys that's it for this video I really hope you'll like this make sure to subscribe for more volleyball tips at home drills practices all that stuff recruiting tips scholarships transferring college volleyball club high school I got you all right guys that's it for this video and I'll see you next time bye